Okay, I figured to lighten things up a little bit, I'm going to do the spring and summer uh, forecast according to the Old Farmer's Almanac 2020. Like I know that the world is going through this COVID-19 crisis right now. And there is a lot of depressing news. Hopefully I can bring you some good news. Well, there's the weather, so unfortunately there, there might be some bad news along with that good news. So this is the Canadian spring and summer. This is the Canadian uh, weather forecast for spring 2020 and summer 2020, according to the Old Farmer's Almanac for, 20, for the year 2020. So starting with Atlantic Canada, for spring, April and May will be cooler than normal with precipitation above normal in the north and below normal in the south. Okay, for June 2020, the temperature will be 14.5 degrees Celsius. That will be the average temperature for the month for Atlantic Canada. And that temperature is considered average. Precip will be 75 millimeters, which is 25 millimeters below average. June 1st through 5th, rainy periods and cool. 6th through the 13th, isolated showers, turning warm. 14th through the 18th, sunny, cooled, and hot. 19th through the 25th, a few showers in the north, sunny in the south, and warm. 26th through the 30th, showers and warm. <coughs> July 2020. So temperature will be 19 degrees Celsius, which is one degree above average. Precip will be 115 millimeters, that's 115 millimeters, which is 30 millimeters below average. The 1st through the 10th, <coughs> sunny and hot in the north, showers and cool in the south. The 11th through the 20th, scattered showers, cool and hot. The 21st through the 23rd, tropical storm threat, and the 24th through the 31st, sunny and warm. August, temperature 19, one degree above average. Precip, 115 millimeters, 115 millimeters, which is 80 or 80 millimeters above average in the north and 30 millimeters below average in the south. One through seven, a few showers and hot. Eight through 12, scattered tea storms and cool in the north, hot in the south. 13 through 18, showers and heavy tea storms, cool. 19 through 25, scattered showers and warm. 26 through 34, through 31, 26 through 31, a few tea storms and warm. So region number two for Canada, and this is Southern Quebec, April and May will have temperatures below normal in the east and above normal in the west and be drier than normal. <coughs> June, temperature 21 degrees Celsius, two degrees above average. Precip, 100 millimeters, 50 millimeters above average in the east and 30 millimeters below average in the west. One through five, showers, then sunny and warm. Six through 13, tea storms and warm. 14 through 21, Sunny, then tea storms and warm. 22 through 30, sunny and hot. July 2020, temperature 22, 2 degrees above average. 
precip 180 millimeters, which is one, or in other words, 180 millimeters, and that's 80 millimeters, 80 millimeters above average. One through three, scattered T storms and hot. Four through 10, a few showers and warm. 11 through 14, scattered T storms and hot. 15 through 23, a few T storms and warm. 24 through the 29th, scattered T storms and hot. 30th and 31st, sunny and warm. August, temperature 18, one degree below average. Precip, eight zero millimeters, 20, which is 20 millimeters below average. First through the third, sunny and hot. The fourth through the twelfth, scattered tea storms and warm. <coughs> the thirteenth through the twenty-first, a few showers, cool than hot. Twenty-second through twenty-eighth, sunny in the east, scattered tea storms in the west and cool. Twenty-ninth through the thirty-first, showers and cool. So region three is Southern Ontario. April and May will be warmer than normal with precipitation above normal in the east and below normal in the west. June 2020, temperature 18.5, one degree above average. Precip 100 millimeters, which is 20 millimeters above average. First through the fourth, showers and cool. Fifth through fourteenth, scattered tea storms and, and cool. Fifteenth through the twentieth, a few showers and warm. Twenty first through the thirtieth, a few tea storms and hot. July, temperature twenty two, one degree above average. Precip, 100 millimeters, <coughs> which is 50 millimeters above average in the east and 10 millimeters below in the west. First through seventh, a few showers and warm. Eighth through thirteenth, scattered tea storms and hot. Fourteenth through eighteenth, tea storms and warm. 19th through 24th, isolated tea storms turning hot. 25th through the 28th, a few tea storms and hot. 29th through 31st, sunny and cool. August, temperature 20, one degree below average in the east and one degree above average in the west. Precip. 95, 95 millimeters, which is six zero millimeters above average in the east and three zero millimeters below in the west. First through six, showers and hot. Seven through 14, tea storms, then sunny and cool. 15 through 22nd, a few tea storms and warm. 23rd through the 31st, showers and cool. Okay, so number four is the prairies. April and May, yeah, the prairies. April and May will be cooler and rainier than normal. So June, temperature 17.5, two degrees above average. Precip, 105 millimeters, which is 25 millimeters above average. First through the fifth, rainy in the east, sunny in the west, and cool. Sixth through 15th, scattered tea storms and turning warm. 16th through the 20th, a few showers, hot in the east, cool in the west. 21st through the 30th, Scattered tea storms and turning hot. 
July, temperature 19.5, one degree above average, precip, or precip 60 millimeters, which is 30 millimeters below average in the east, an average for the west. First through sixth, scattered tea storms, warm in the east, sunny, hot in the west. 7th through 9th, sunny, hot in the east, tea storms in the west. 10th through 16th, a few tea storms and warm. 17th through 21st, sunny and turning hot. 22nd through 29th, a few tea storms and turning cooler. 30th through the 31st, Sunny and warm. August, temperature 16, which is one degree below average. Precip, 110 millimeters, which is 100 millimeters above average in the east and average in the west. First through fifth, scattered tea storms and warm. Sixth through eighth, sunny and cool. 9th through 16th, showers and cool. 17th through 23rd, a few tea storms and cool. 24th through the 31st, scattered showers and cool. So finally, region number 5. British Columbia, region number five is southern British Columbia. So April and May will be slightly warmer than normal with precipitation above normal in the north and below normal in the south. So June, temperature 16, one degree above average. Precip, 105 millimeters, which is seven zero millimeters above average in the north and 20 millimeters below average in the south. First through fifth, sunny and warm. Sixth through 14th, showers, then sunny and cool. 15th through 22nd, showers and cool. 23rd through the 30th, sunny and turning warm. July, temperature 19, two degrees above average. <coughs> Precip. 65 millimeters, which is 10 millimeters above average. First through sixth, a few showers and turning cool. Seventh through tenth, sunny and cool. Eleventh through seventeenth, showers and sunny and turning warm. Eighteenth through twenty-first, showers on the coast, sunny inland and warm. Twenty-second through the twenty-fifth, Sunny and cool, 26th through the 31st, scattered showers and cool. August 2020, temperature 16, which is one degree below average. Precip, 100 millimeters, which is 50 millimeters, five zero millimeters above average. First through the 9th, showers, then sunny and cool. 10th through the 15th. Showers, then sunny and cool. 16th through the 24th, rainy periods and cool. 25th through the 31st, sunny and turning warm. <clears throat> and i just like to mention too, I know you heard me cough a few times in this video. It's just very, what do you call it, uh, occasional and spontaneous. I think it's just allergies or something. Because, I mean, I've been checked out and I've been, I've been fine. Like I had pneumonia a while back, but I took antibiotics for that. And I got over that. So it's just allergies why I'm coughing. No, I don't have COVID-19 or anything else. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I will be continuing to do more videos on COVID-19. And again, if you want more information on COVID-19, 
You can always Google it. You can get the best places for information are from your government websites, such as here in Canada, like Health Canada, or you can even go to the World Health Organization or other local health author other various government health authorities to get advice regarding COVID-19. Thanks for listening.